Hello friends, welcome to Wi-Fi State.com, one stop destination for all competitive exams. Presents current affairs 2017 March 4th week in English. So friends, in our previous video, we provided this video in Hindi and right now we are going to provide in English. So friends, if you are weak in a vocab and not able to score good marks in a vocab, you can take our A to Z vocab video with trick course. And if you assess why vocab 24 app, you will get in 497 rupees. And if you want an 8 GB pen drive, you will get in 999. And if you have any query, you can call on this number. And friends, if you want to prepare from the application, then you can download our vocab 24 app. This is the highest rated app. And uh, in this, you will get a daily the Hindu editorial and 10 new words okay by which you will easily able to boost up your vocabulary and if you like this video please subscribe us so that we can provide you more videos more content for your upcoming exam so friends first of all we are going to take the international section after that we are going to cover the national then trade and banking economics sports appointments everything we are going to cover in this video so let's start from the international section world tuberculosis day is observed on which date okay so this question is very important for you friends and first of all we are going to take the the entire news and after that we are going to pick up the answer so let's see the news world tuberculosis day is observed on 24th march each year the theme of this year is world tb is united to and tb so friends there are two important things first of all you need to remember the date and second you need to remember the theme okay that is the unite to and tb this is the theme of this year and themes are very important for upsc exam point of view and if you are preparing for the upsc then you have to remember the theme okay unite to and theme unite to and tb so your answer is d that is 24th march and friends there are few important thing about the tb it is a infection disease caused by the bacterium mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium this is the name of the bacteria uh, the bacteria okay mycobacterium tb and it this disease uh, majorly affect the lungs and it is spread through the air when people have their active tb in their lungs uh, spit speak or sneeze and the diagnosis of the tb is based on based upon the chest x-ray as well as the microscopic examination and the culture of the body fluids so these are the treatment by which uh, somebody will take to diagnose the tb which country has stopped in the energy architecture performance index so let's see the news first after that we'll uh, take the answer india ranks 87th on energy architecture performance index which is released by the world economic forum okay and switzerland topped this list and uh, okay Bahrain ranked last on this list so all the indexes and the ranking are very important for your exam point of view friends you need to remember the list which is topped by any country and the india's ranking okay so first of all 87th rank is of India in energy architecture performance index you need to remember this and second is the Switzerland so your answer is D so these two important things that you need to remember who has topped fortune 50 greatest leaders of the world list so SBI chairperson Arundhati Bhattacharya among fortune 50 greatest leaders of the world so there is a good news for the India that there are two person from India uh, who are included in the fortune 50 greatest leaders of the world first is the sbi chief Arundhati bhattacharya and second is indian origin physician raj punjabi who has who have been named by the fortune and magazine among the world 50 greatest leaders who are transforming the world and inspiring others to do the same okay and sbi is the largest bank of india and the ranking of the Arundhati bhattacharya god is 26th and on 28th spot Raj Punjabi spotted okay and he is the CEO of last mile health so what is the last mile health it is a platform where any village which is far from the medical facility will get a medical facility in a very short period of time that's why they named it last mile miles health okay and this list is taught by the president of baseball operation at Chicago club that is Theo Espitin so your answer is D so Theo topped this list and there are two Indians in to this list. Schengen city is situated in which country? So another important question why this city is very important from uh, exam point of view because recently Taliban okay Afghan Taliban captured this city and that's why this city was in news and you need to remember that this city is in Afghanistan because the Taliban has captured the crucial South African district of Schengen after a year long battle okay and this is officially declared by the governor of the helmand okay that uh, that the headquarter of this place is in the hand of militant right now so your answer is afghanistan b is your answer 
Earth Hour 2017 was observed on which date? Another important question. So let's see the news. 2017 Earth Hour was observed worldwide on 25th March 2017, and this movement is organized by the WWF, that is the Worldwide Fund for Nature. Okay, this event is held annually, encouraging individuals, communities, household, businessmen to turn off their non-essential lights from one hour for one hour from 8:30 to 9:30 p.m. And this is the very uh, this movement is on very large scale, and every country participated in this. Uh, this event okay and initially this event was started in sydney in australia in 2017 uh, 2007 okay so if they ask about the when the which is the first country to start the earth hour 2000 then you need to remember that australia is the first country to start the earth hour they started in 2007 and the earth art 2017 was observed on 25th march so your answer is b This city has recently organized a conference on Make in India. So this is a very important movement from the Andy government. Okay, Make in India campaign. So conference on Making India held in Houston. So your answer is A. Okay, this city organized conference on Make in India. So friends, the and the theme of this conference is the Make in India the inside story. Make in India the inside story is the theme of the conference, and there are few important things that you need to remember about the Make in India campaign. Okay, it is an initiative launched by the government of India to encourage multinational as well as the national companies to manufacture their products in India, and it was launched by PM Modi on 25th September 2014. Okay, India after that India emerged as a uh, as a top destination globally for FDI. Surprising the U.S. as well as the China too. In 2050, if we talk about the 2050, India received FDI amount of nearby 63 billion USD dollar. Okay, this is a very huge amount, friends. And this campaign was designed by the American advertising company named Widen Kennedy. Widen Kennedy. So this is an American advertising agency which. i uh, also helped nike to boost their campaign okay so this campaign was organized by this company and your answer of this question is a let's see another one which country has became the third largest aviation market in terms of domestic passenger traffic beating japan so let's see the news india has become the third largest aviation market in terms of domestic passenger okay beating japan and industry report has said so india is on third place Okay, first place is on US and second is on China, and uh, on third place India. B India came to third place, beating Japan in the in the domestic air traffic. So your answer is A. That is India. Which city will host ninth World Environmental Education Congress? So this is another very important question. So let's see the news first. Ninth World Environmental Education Congress will take place from September. Uh, 9 to 15 2017 in Vancouver and it is in Canada so your answer is Vancouver so Vancouver city will be going to host this event that is the world environmental education congress and the theme of this year is culture environment waving new connection this is the theme of this conference which one of the following country recently joined the international energy agency as an associate member okay so what is this international energy agency first of all you need to learn about this agency friends okay This is a Paris based the headquarter of this organization is in Paris and it is autonomous intergovernmental organization established in the framework of OECD and what is this OECD that is organization for economic cooperation and development started in 1974 in the wake of 1973 oil crisis okay so and the member of these uh, this organization is 29 So let's see the news. India became associate member of International Energy Agency. So India became the associate member of IEA. Okay, this is a good for good news for the India. And uh, your answer is A. So India has joined the International Energy Agency as an associate member. A development that the IEA said makes the prestigious Paris-based body more relevant and reflect the country's move to center stage of the global health dialogue. Okay. So let's see another one. which is going to be 29th member of the north atlantic treaty organization so nato okay first of all what is the nato you need to remember this okay this is north atlantic treaty organization and it is a intergovernmental military alliance 
based on the North Atlantic Treaty which was signed on 4th April 1949 okay this is a very important organization friends it is a military alliance and this organization constitute a system of collective defense whereby its member states agree to mutual defense in response to attack by an external party so if an external party will attack any member of the nato it will take as the entire nato war okay so they will take a take that movement as a mutual defense and first let's see the news nato in invites the balkan nation of Monte montenegro to become the 29th member agreeing to expand for the seventh time in its history despite russia angry objection so russia shows angry objection over this expansion but even though they completed this okay so montenegro became the 29th member of the nato so your answer is a and the headquarter of this nato is in brussels that is in belgium and secretary general is jens okay jens stolten stoltenberg is the secretary general of this organization right now and uh, you need to remind also remember friends this montenegro is surrounded by the few countries like croatia bosnia kosovo albania okay and the highest city and the capital of this city that is mountain capital of this country montenegro is pod gorica Port Gorica is the capital of the Montenegro. So these are the important content that you need to remember for your exam. Let's see another one. So friends, after that we'll go into the, the national section. First of all, we covered the international, and now let's see the national news. How many new affordable houses have been approved recently under the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana? So this is very important yojana, friends, which was launched by the PM Modi. Okay. So what is this? First of all, the this is a mission which is carried from 2015 to 2022. Okay. the deadline to provide housing to all housing to all or housing for all this is a housing for all scheme that is pradhan mantri awas yojana so they want to provide house pakka houses to everyone before 2022 okay so they can ask you about this 2022 the deadline of this uh, which is made by the nda government for themselves to provide housing for all scheme to okay so this 2022 is your answer first of all you need to remember this and for now let's see the news the government has approved construction of 1 lakh and 17000 more affordable houses for urban poor under the pradhan mantri awas yojana in six states with the investment of nearby 6000 crore okay so with this the total number of affordable houses sanctioned under the pradhan mantri awas yojana so has far has gone up to 17 crore Okay, this is a huge number, friends. They are providing a huge number of houses to the poor section of the society. So this is scheme is very beneficial for the lower section of the society. Okay, and your answer of this question is A. That is one point one seven lakh. Which city has hosted third international conference on alternate fuels and raw material in cement industry? So let's see the news first. The third international conference on alternate fuels and raw materials in cement industry was inaugurated in New Delhi. Okay. So your answer is New Delhi. New Delhi will uh, New Delhi hosted this event, and uh, this event is very important from friends because in cement industry to increase the AAF uses to increase the thermal substitution rate, which is very low in India at one percent against the average of sixty percent world over. Okay, so your answer is A. Which state has stopped in the linking Aadhaar card to Jandhan account? So. there is a one state which topped in linking aadhar card to the jandhan accounts so what is the jandhan account friends first of all this scheme was launched in uh, few years back and uh, by 1st feb 2017 nearby 27 crore bank accounts was were opened and almost 665 billion okay nearby 10 billion us dollars were deposited under this scheme so this scheme was implemented uh, to provide the banking facility to all jandhan account they want to open the account to the every citizen of the nation and uh, what is this aadhar card this aadhar card is a 12 digit unique identity number issued by the all indian resident issued to all indian resident based on their biometric and a demographic data and this is the world largest biometric id system friends Okay, over 1.12 billion enrolled members as of 28 February 2017, and uh, at this date, over 99% of Indian aged 18 year and above has been enrolled in Aadhaar Aadhaar card. Okay, this is a very huge number, friends. 
so ap tops in aadhar setting of jandhan account so andhra pradesh topped in this list uh, who linked aadhar card to the jandhan accounts so your answer is c india's first vertical garden is in which city so bangalore gets india's first vertical garden and uh, that will help to curb the pollution and in beautifying the city so your answer is bangalore which city is hosting 33 interna india carpet expo so 33 india carpet expo inaugurated by the union textile minister and uh, and who is that textile minister shrimati zubin irani smith smriti zubin irani is the union textile minister of our nation right now and this expo is one of the asia largest handmade carpet expo okay and uh, this event was hosted by the new delhi it was started in a pragati maidan in new delhi so your answer is a which company will start delhi darshan chopper rides so another important question so delhi national operator that is pavan hansen set to launch his delhi darshan ride from next month with a 10 minute co 10 minute uh, ride costing rupees 2500 per person and if you want uh, 20 minutes ride then they will provide you in 5000 rupees so they started delhi darshan and uh, the pavan sans pavan hans is the company which started this operation so your answer is b okay it is a limited company it is a helicopter service provide company based in new delhi and it is a mini ratna it is of mini ratna category psu mini ratna this pavan hans what will be the new name of central board of excise and customs so cba is ec to be renamed as cbic so the apex policy making a body for in indirect taxes that is a cbec is being renamed as a central board of indirect taxes and customs okay in turn of the turn up of the gst to be rolled out from the july 1st so your answer is cbic that is central board of indirect taxes and customs so your answer is b so let's see another question which university will host 105th indian science congress so another important question friends and the answer of this question is usmania university to host 105th indian science congress and this usmania university is in hyderabad and your answer is a and uh, i like to tell you some more information about the indian science congress okay its headquarter is at kolkata and the association is the indian science congress association okay it started in 1914 and the uh, this organization was started association was started by the two person that is simonson and macmahon these are the two person who started indian science congress okay and the first meeting of the congress was held from Uh, 15 to 17 January 1914 at the premises of the Asiatic Society in Calcutta. Okay, so these are the important information. First of all, their founder name. Second, their date formation. First, their meeting. Okay, and their headquarters. So these are the important content from the Indian Science Congress that you need to remember. Which city has hosted World Conference on Environment 2017? So the President of India, Sri Pranab Mukherjee, inaugurated the World Conference on Environment organized by the National Green Tribunal in New Delhi. So your answer is in New Delhi. Okay. And the President said the recent studies and the systematic reviews indicate the environmental factors are responsible for the estimated 24th. 24% of the global burden of disease in terms of health life years loss and 23% of the all that so this is very crucial data friends 24% of the global burden of disease okay it's just because of the environment which city has hosted national conference on down syndrome so let's see the news thawarchand gehlot minister of the social justice and empowerment inaugurates a national conference on down syndrome in new delhi so your answer is new delhi and down what is this down syndrome friends okay it is a trisomy it is known as a trisomy 21 and it is a genetic disorder caused by the presence of all or a part of third copy of chromosome 21 it is typically associated with the physical growth delays catastrophic facial uh, facial features and a mild to moderate intellectual disabilities okay so it is a genetic disorder down syndrome Which state has registered maximum human trafficking cases in 2016? So West Bengal topped the list of states with the maximum number of human trafficking cases in 2016, followed by the Rajasthan as a two account for about 61 percent of the such cases in the country. Okay, so this is a very huge amount, and friends, uh, West Bengal and Rajasthan have to do something to stop this. And the answer of this question is West Bengal. West Bengal topped in human trafficking. 
which it has hosted third meeting of G20 framework group working group. So the third G20 framework working group meeting under the G20 German presidency is being co-hosted by the Department of Economic Affairs, Ministry of Finance, Government of India, Reserve Bank of India in Varanasi. Okay, so this event was hosted by Varanasi. And what is this G20? It is an international forum for government and central bank governors from 20 major economics. Okay, economics. It was founded in 1999 with the aim of studying, reviewing, promoting high-level discussion of policy issues pertaining to be the promotion of international financial stability. Okay, which city has hosted International Diamond Conference 2017? So, International Diamond Conference held in Mumbai, and the theme of this year was Mines to Market 2017. So, this is the theme of this year, and your answer is Mumbai. Which city has hosted National Tri Tribal and a North East Art Conclave? Another important question. So, Dr. Mahesh Sharma, Minister of State for Culture and Tourism, inaugurated the National Tribal and a North East Conclave 2017, organized by the Lalit Kala Academy and the Minister of Culture in New Delhi. Okay. So, your answer is A. Bavaria is a province is in which country? So, another important question. What is this Bavaria, friends? It's a. It is a. German province, okay, India and Bavaria set to joint group to identify area of cooperation in water sector. Okay, so they want to identify area of cooperation in the water sector and India and Bavaria came into the agreement. Okay, and this is a part of Germany. So your answer is D. India became net exporter of electricity for the first time. So as per the Central Electricity Authority, that is the designated authority of government of India for the cross-border trade of electricity first time turned around from net importer to the exporter. So first time it was happened that India uh, is not uh, India. Whatever the amount of the electricity India is importing, India is exporting more than it. Okay, so India is exported nearby 6,000 million unit to the Nepal, Bangladesh and Myanmar compared to the Bhutan. Okay, from which they imported nearby 5585 million units. So that's why India became net exporter of electricity for the first time. Which committee was set up for enhancing the combat potential of Indian armed forces? So Anun Jaitley clears major military reforms proposal. Okay, and this reforms was based on the report by the Lieutenant General retired that is DB Sekatkar committee, which made recommendation on enhancing the combat potential of Indian three armed forces. So your answer is B. From which date Bharat stage 4 norms will be implemented? Another important question. So SC ban sale registration of BS3 vehicles from 1st April. So Supreme Court banded the sale of the vehicles which are made uh, by the BS3 emission standards. What is this BS3? This is a Bharat stage. And this is equivalent to the Euro 1, Euro 2. These are the standards which are uh, implemented in the Europe. Okay. So India switched from BS3 to the BS4. So BS4 vehicles are more uh, eco-friendly and uh, nearby 80%. So nearby 80% pollution they will uh, they will do less as compared to the BS3. Okay. So BS4 vehicles are more uh, better as compared to BS3 and they are 80%. They provide 80% less pollution compared to the BS3. That's why Supreme Court ordered and banned the sale of the BS3 vehicles from 1st April. So your answer is B. Which state is organizing Namami Brahmaputra festival? So the president of India Shri Pranam Mukherjee is on a visit to Assam on 31st March 2017 where he inaugurated the Namami Brahmaputra festival in Guwahati. Okay and this festival was organized by the government of Assam with the aim to strengthen the bonds among various communities of Assam. So Namami Brahmaputra is the name of the festival which was started in Assam. Which state is first in construction of houses for urban poor? So Gujarat is far ahead of other states in construction of the affordable houses for urban poor under the Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana. As I told you before, it was this is a very uh, good Yojana which is impl implemented and started in 2015. Okay, housing for all scheme, they are providing houses to the poor class of the society also. And Gujarat made nearby 25,000 houses so far Okay, in, under this scheme. So your answer is Gujarat. Gujarat topped in the list of uh, making the construction of houses for urban poor and followed by Rajasthan. Now let's see the trade and banking news. The first question from the trade and banking sector is which bank has detect detected highest number of cases of fake certificate for appointments? 
So let's see the news. Four public sector banks, including IOB and BOB, has detected 315 cases wherein candidates submitted fake certificate at the time of appointment. So other banks are Oriental Bank of Commerce, Indian Overseas Bank, Bank of Baroda, Andhra Bank reported 4, 253, 30, and 28 cases respectively involving fake certificate. So there are nearby 315 students who submitted fake certificate at the time of appointments. Okay, and this list is topped by the Indian Overseas Bank. So your answer is B. Which state has signed a MOU with the SBI to provide housing loan at subsidized interest rate to its employee? Another important question. So Assam government has signed two MOU with the SBI to provide housing loan at huge subsidized interest rate of five percent loan for the woman employee and five point five percent for the man, and they are also providing education loan at the rate of four percent. Okay, so they are providing loans at the very subsidized price. So your answer is Assam. and the house scheme for the employee will come under the state of government scheme upon ghar and the maximum limit for the housing loan is of rupees 15 lakh which state will get 100 million us dollar from world bank to improve quality of healthcare services so india and one another state of our will come into the agreement they come into the agreement with the world bank and they are providing 100 million us dollar to improve the health facilities healthcare facilities in their state so the world bank has signed a 100 million us dollars credit agreement with the center and the uttarakhand in new delhi to improve quality of healthcare services in all the 30 13 districts of the state so center and the uttarakhand okay so your answer is a okay and where is the headquarter of the world bank it is in the washington dc It is in the Washington D.C. Who is the CEO? That is Cristiana, Cristalina, George, Georgievia is the CEO of the World Bank right now. And this organization was founded in 1944. Who and the MD of this organization is the Levy. Okay, so these are the another important content that you need to remember. Which bank has signed MOU with the Piaggio Vehicles for providing financial support for the purchase of vehicles? So Vijaya Bank entered into the agreement with this vehicle for providing financial support for the purchase of vehicles. So your answer is Vijaya Bank, and the headquarters of the Vijaya Bank is in Bangalore. Which bank has won Best Small Bank Award 2016? So KVB, that is the Karur Vesya Bank, has been adjusted the. I judge the best small bank for 2016 uh, which have a balance sheet of less than 1 lakh crore so your answer is C Project Ananya is related to which bank so the syndicate bank opens 40 new ananya branches okay so your answer is syndicate bank syndicate bank open 40 new ananya branches which is the first state to bring banking to remote rural area through self help groups so the odisha became the first state in the country to carry financial inclusion and extend banking services to unbanked areas through the self help groups so they are providing to uh, they are providing banking facilities to the each and area each area of the odisha that's why they made a self help groups they will provide facilities or the help to the rural uh, areas rural areas people to provide banking facilities okay so your answer is Odisha which bank has tied up with a true caller for UPI based payments so ICICI bank partners true caller for UPI based payments so your answer is a IRDAI recently imposed a penalty of rupees dash lakh on ICICI prudential life insurance company on various charges so recently the insurance regulator has imposed a penalty of 20 lakh rupees on ICICI prudential life insurance company on various charges like uh, free Uh, free look cancellation not being in the line with the regulation maturity claims not being settled within prescribed time period resulting in a huge number of claim outstanding and delay in processing the surrenders so these are the charges they implemented they imposed not implemented they imposed and uh, up and after that they imposed a penalty of 20 lakh rupees also so your answer is d and what is the full form of iirda that is the insurance regulator and the development authority of india cci that is competition commission of india has imposed a penalty of rupees dash crore upon coal india limited so fair trade regulator that is the competition commission of india has imposed a penalty of 591 crore upon coal india limited okay and they imposed because of the violation of the competition act by imposing unfair and the discriminatory condition in fuel supply agreements with power products for supply of non cooking coal 
so your answer is a they imposed a penalty of 591 crore which one of the following has been existed from the travel portal musafir.com as an investor so tendulkar existed from the musafir.com he invested uh, before 5 years and he took a equity of 7.5% in exchange for appearing in the firm firm's ad okay so your answer is sachin tendulkar which bank has launched unnati credit card so sbi launched a sbi card unnati okay it is a unique credit card which was targeted to at all sbi customers including jandhan account holders across the country and it is for the new credit card holders those who don't have a credit card history unnati would have no annual fee for the initial 4 years and will be offered through the 20000 plus sbi sbi branches so your answer is sbi unnati sbi card unnati which bank has tied up with the wells fargo for inward remittances so what is the remittance the money which is sent by a foreign uh, a person who is living and earning in the foreign nation okay when he send him sends a money to the uh, to the to our country or to his family then that money is known as a remittance and the axis bank tied up with the wells fargo for inward remittances it is the third largest american bank by assets that is uh, wells fargo so your answer is a which bank has launched 811 accounts so kotak mahindra bank launches scheme to double customers to 16 million and they launched a new zero balance digital banking account free of cost which is linked to the aadhar system okay so they are providing zero balance digital banking account and this 811 account can be opened through the mobile phone using the aadhar one time password authentication and income tax pan number the bank said it will offer 6% interest per annum so your answer is kotak mahindra now let's see the appointments question the first question from the appointment sector is who has been appointed as a part time chairman of the catholic syrian bank so rbi approved appointment of the ts anantha raman as a part time chairperson of csb that is a catholic syrian bank so your answer is d ts anantha raman who is the first women combat officer in the bsf so tanushree parekh has become the first women combat officer to be commissioned in the 51 year history of the bsf the country largest border guarding force and she now will be posted to the indo pakistan border in punjab so your answer is tanushree parekh who is the first woman to head a major pakistani bank so seema kamal became the first woman to head a major pakistani bank and right now she is currently a deputy ceo at the current third lar- largest lender united bank limited okay so your answer is seema kamal c Wh- which one of the following has been inducted inter- into the international advisory board of global think tank the atlantic council recently so the reliance group chairman that is anil ambani has been inducted into the international advisory board of global think tank the atlantic council and there are few other businessmen also included in this list and this atlantic council is a foreign policy think tank okay headquartered at the washington dc so your answer is anil ambani un picks former us state governor to run world food program so united nations chief that is antonio guterres has appointed former south carolina governor david bisley to run the rome based world food program okay so this program will now will be going to head by the david who has been appointed as the head of the nomura india so this nomura india is a japanese company friends okay and uh, they named prabhat avasti as a new india head prabhat avasti so your answer is b it is not a b it is actually c Sunaina Singh appointed as a vice chancellor of Nalanda University. So President Pranab Mukherjee has appointed Sunaina Singh currently head of the English and a foreign language university in Hyderabad as a new chancellor of Nalanda University. Okay. And it is this university is located in Rajgir near Nalanda Bihar. The university began is its first academic uh, session. on 1st september 2014 with 15 students including five women initially set up at the temporary facilities in rajgir a modern campus is expected to be built uh, to be finished by 2020 okay and it is exclusively a post graduate and doctoral school who has been appointed as a chairman of the cbec 
so vanaja and sanna appointed as a chairperson of central board of excise and custom chief so your answer is vanaja now let's see the awards question who has won first kuldeep nair journalism award so ravish kumar wins the inaugural kuldeep nair journalism award and who is the uh, who is this kuldeep nair he is a very famous veteran indian journalist syndicated columnist human rights activist author and a high ex high commissioner of india to the uk okay noted for his long career as a left wing political commentator and he also nominated as mp in 1997 so by his name this award was started and won by ravish kumar so your answer is b which one of the following has been awarded with a lifetime achievement award for photography so venkata naidu confers lifetime achievement award on photographer raghu rai so your answer is raghu rai c which one of the following has been awarded with the kala ratan award so this kala ratan award was formally or initially uh, known as hamsa award and this award is given by andhra pradesh okay and anupam kher received kala ratna award so your answer is anupam kher kala ratna award and previously anupam kher also got the padam bhushan in 2016 for his contribution in the field of cinema and arts filmmaker gurinder chadda honored with the sikh jewel that is sikh jewel award so indian origin british director gurinder chadda has honored with the 2017 sikh jewel award for her immense contribution to the british cinema which country has conferred honorary military rank to indian army chief bipin rawat so indian army general that is chief general bipin rawat is in kathmandu on the four day visit to nepal during which he was conferred with the honorary rank of general of the nepal army and he also visited pashupatina temple malang and muktinath temple so your answer is nepal indian origin priti patel to be awarded Pr uh, pravasi bhartiya samman award so this award is very important friends which was given on pravasi bhartiya divas and it is a award constituted by the ministry of overseas indian affairs government of india in conjunction with the pravasi bhartiya divas to honor exceptional and the meritorious contribution in their field or profession and this award is given by the president of india okay was given to priti patel iskon govardhan eco village gets water award so the govardhan eco village of international society for krishna consciousness at wadar taluka near mumbai had received an award instituted by the water digest and new portal for water management so govardhan eco village received the award in the best water ngo water education category which one of the following has named as a asian hockey player of the year so indian forward sv sunil has named the asian hockey player okay on the other hand harmanpreet singh was chosen as the promising player of the year so your answer is sv sunil now let's see some sports question which one of the following has won double trap gold in iwsf shooting world cup in mexico so ankur mittal win double trap gold in mexico okay so your answer is ankur mittal c is your answer and mittal won two silver at the last month i double s f world cup in new delhi beat the gold medalist at that event that is australian james willett who is the current chairperson of international cricket council so eight days after the after his step down as interna uh, chairperson of the icc shashank manohar has agreed to defer his decision following an icc board resolution to request him to remain in post was passed with overwhelming support so your answer is shashank manohar previously he resigned from this post and right now he again come to this post let's see another question which team has won santosh trophy 2017 so bengal beat goa in final to win record 32 title okay and this is a very important trophy from the football section friends and bengal beat goa in the final to win this trophy so your answer is bengal and Beng bengal also li lifted this trophy maximum time friends that is 32 title okay Which one of the following has taken most wickets in a test season? So R Ashwin break Dale Steyn record of most wickets in a test season, and on the other hand, Cheteshwar Pujara became India's highest test getter uh, runner in a test season. Pujara, who has scored one three one six run in thirteen test matches this home season, went past Gautam Gambhir aggregate of one two six nine runs. So your answer is R Ashwin. Sean Ted announced his retirement from all forms all forms of cricket recently. He is from which country? So this is a very famous person from Sean Ted, and he announced his retirement. And he was a Australian fast bowler. Announced his retirement. 
he played 35 odis 21 t20 and nicknamed the wild thing because he bowled 161.16 km per hour in an odi against england at lords in july 2010 okay and this is the second highest ball which is bowled ever in cricket first is by the shoaib akhtar which bowled 161.3 km per hour and second bowled by the shon tate and bradley together okay bradley also bowled at the speed of 161.1 km per hour once so your answer is australia which city will host fifa under 17 world cup final so the iconic salt lake stadium in kolkata has been named as a venue for the final of the 2017 fifa under 17 world cup which will be held in india from october 6 to 8 28 okay so your answer is kolkata kolkata will going to host this final event india won dash medals in 2017 in special olympics world winter games so india earned with the 73 medals from 2017 special olympic world winter games okay and they secured fifth position in the overall medal tally so your answer is 73 73 medal won by india in special olympic world winter games which city will host men's hockey world cup 2018 so bhuvneshwar to host men's hockey world cup 2018 okay and in hockey world cup india won once india won this world cup and it was in 1975 when india beat pakistan in the finals and won this trophy and india is also a runner up of this event also when india was beaten by the netherland in 1973 and the, your answer of this question is bhuvneshwar that is uh, that is in odisha Which team has won the other trophy 2017? So Tamil Nadu beat India B to win the other trophy. So your answer is Tamil Nadu. Which city will host Asian Athletic Championship 2017? Another important question. And another time, Bhuvneshwar is the city which will host Asian Athletic Meet from July 9 to 6 to 9. So Bhuvneshwar is the city which will uh, also host going to host the Hockey World Cup and Asian Athletic Championship also. So your answer is Bhuvneshwar. now let's see some that questions popular tamil writer ashoka mitran passes away and he was a famous famous tamil writer arun sharma passed away recently who he was he was a renowned play writer okay he and he also won the sahitya academy award died in the private hospital at the age of 85 so your answer is writer former solicitor general adhi ya rajuna passes away okay he was a advocate of the state from 93 to 95 before became the solicitor general in 1996 to 1998 now let's see some books question coffee table book title 50 years the great indian milk revolution launched so union minister of agriculture and farmers welfare that is radha mohan singh has launched coffee table book title 50 years the great indian milk revolution commemorating the national dairy development board golden jubilee year okay army releases book on rashtriya rifles So Bipin Rawat Army Chief released the book Home of the Brave on the history of the Indian Army counter insurgency force the Rashtriya Rifles and this book is authored by the Nitin A Gokhale and uh, SK Chatterjee Who is the author of the book titled Zakir Hussain a life for music so book to chronicle life of tabal tabla maestro Zakir Hussain released and this book was uh, written by the Munni Kabir okay and this will book will tell we tell you about the indian classical music and the thinking of a world musician who is the author of the book title indian railways the waving of a national tapestry so suresh prabhu releases this book and this book is jointly written by the bibak sanjay and vidya so your answer is d so friends these are the content from the fourth week of the march and hope you will like it and you will subscribe us thank you